Hey Audacious Church, my name is Chip and I am part of the South location and I also serve all of our locations and campuses as part of the worship team and as part of the missions team as well. And it is so great to be able to bring you our devotions. I don't know if you're watching this in the morning. I tend to do my devotions in the morning. Helps to set up my day. But uh, I hope that what God has encouraged me with is also an encouragement to you. And we're going to start with the Bible, the Word of God. So let's open up to James chapter 5 and the first part of verse 15. This is what it says. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. Isn't that great? I don't know about you, but I am so sick of COVID-19. I'm sick of the disease. I'm sick of the pandemic. I'm sick of the knock-on effects that it's had to the nations of the earth and to us personally as a family. I mean, it's just horrible. And we've been through all the lockdowns and we've been through all the government restrictions and guidelines and all of that. And I can understand the reasons for those things, but aren't you just ready to be over the hill to be past all of that and put it behind us? I know that I am. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and read parts of the devotion that I've written, and hopefully this will start to build some faith in you, just like it encouraged me. Uh, don't get me wrong, I see the value of following the science, but guess what? I'm more committed to following Jesus. I understand the reasons for global unrest and uncertainty, but my rest and certainty have always been in someone not in some thing. Anyway, these truly are unprecedented times, but not in the ways that they're talking about in the news. I believe it's time for unprecedented faith. Come on. I can hear you cheering me on as you're watching this. Unprecedented courage, unprecedented hope, unprecedented perseverance, unprecedented love and compassion, and most relevantly to what we'll be talking about today, unprecedented prayer and healing. Have you been hearing some stories of how God is healing people in this time during these tragic 18 months? I know a bunch of people have died, but guess what? A bunch of people have been healed as well. And uh, earlier this week, I was talking to a new guy that I'd never met before, but he's a brother in Christ. He's from South Africa, and he had enough faith to put on this outreach event over in Chesterfield. His name is PJ, and he was encouraging me with real life stories, testimonies of people being healed, even through this pandemic. Um, I wish I, I could go into all of his stories. I haven't got time. But the point of it is that it just encouraged me. It, it boosted my faith. He talked about being taken into hospital himself due to COVID-like symptoms. But not only did God heal him, but at least four others that he prayed with over the few days that he was in the hospital were healed or brought to faith. One of them was the paramedic who sat next to him in the ambulance. The Lord gave him a word of knowledge for the man, and ultimately it led to him receiving Christ. Can you imagine that? He could barely breathe himself, and he's like, God's speaking to me about you. Can I tell you how much God loves you? I think it's awesome. The Lord gave him that word of knowledge. That came straight from him, and, uh, and I believe he can do the same for all of us as well. Uh, what a powerful way of taking what the enemy intended for evil and turning it around for good. Guys, if you're sick or if you know somebody who's sick in hospital, let's pray for them, obviously. Pray for yourself if you need prayer. But let's also pray that God would speak to us and take what the enemy is intended for evil and turn it around for good. Maybe this is an opportunity to pray with somebody and just offer to help in that way or maybe for God to give you a word of knowledge for that person. Wouldn't it be great to have loads of stories like that? Another conversation that bolstered my faith for healing this week was with my friend Stephen. He said, you know, Chip, speaking about the pandemic and everything that's going on, you know, Chip, a hundred years ago, our grandparents saw tyranny and went to war. Today, we, as the church, see sickness and we go to sleep. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that just hit me right between the eyes. What a challenge for us as the body of Christ today. And then I've just finished my devotion with a prayer, and hopefully this prayer will be something that you can pray with me, that I can hear your amen over the airwaves, over the online airwaves, whatever that's called, the broadband. <laughs> Lord Jesus, 
Please forgive our lack of faith. Teach us your ways and keep us sensitive to your spirit, especially in those moments when we feel our apathy and our inactivity might be justified in some way. We want to be salt and light. We want to be your frontline workers and witnesses in this nation. Please give us our own miracle stories and the courage necessary to be obedient and responsive, just like my friend PJ. Lord, would you raise us up to be an army of love and healing? God, if we've become comfortable in restrictions and comfortable in uh, being bound up and comfortable in the chains, Lord, I pray that you would just break us out of that, free us, liberate us to be the church that you dreamed us to be. We want to give you praise. We want to give you honor in the land of the living for as long as we have breath. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll just finish with a little bonus story that I didn't put in the written devotion, but a man was asked on God TV, actually. He was asked, are these the last days before Jesus comes back? And he said, well, he said, these are my last days before Jesus comes back. This is the time that I'm alive and I'm on the planet right now. And that really encouraged me because I thought, wow, it doesn't really matter in some ways, the, the, the huge narrative. It's just the, what God's given you and where he's placed you and the friends that he's put in your life. You know, we got to sense this urgency that actually Jesus is coming back whether it's in our lifetime or not, let's go ahead and live like it is. We want to live uh, as if it all depends on us and pray as if it all depends on God. I think it was Billy Graham who said that. So be encouraged. And I pray that this would bolster your faith to pray for healing, to pray for salvation, but also to go out and to be the one praying for people to be healed. Be the one with the words of knowledge and, uh, and even invite them to know Christ as Lord to know Jesus. God bless you guys. Have a really great day and I will see you soon.